Hello, I'm Karina Barn, Executive Director with Symphony Tacoma. We are thrilled you are joining us for a holiday favorites performance featuring your Symphony Tacoma Brass Quintet, as well as a few other special guests. Before we begin our program this evening, please help me thank our sponsors, Multicare, Tacoma Creates, National Endowment for the Arts, Columbia Bank, Pacific Lutheran University School of the Arts and Communications, findyourflushot.com, and Annie Wright Schools. Symphony Tacoma has brought all this programming to you free thanks to our sponsors as well as generous individuals like yourself. Please consider making a tax-deductible donation to Symphony Tacoma by visiting symphonytacoma.org support so we can continue bringing you these performances. From our board, staff, and musicians, we'd like to wish you a very safe and happy holiday season. Good evening, welcome to tonight's performance. I'm Dan Partridge, Principal Horn of Symphony Tacoma. This is Paul Evans, Principal Tuba, Keith Winkle, Principal Trombone, and our Principal and Second Trumpets, Charlie Butler and Jeff Snyder. We'd like to offer a special thanks to our sponsors without whom this evening would not be possible. And on behalf of the board and all the symphony musicians and especially the brass players on stage, we'd like to extend to you a very happy holiday.
Hello, my name is Jeffrey Fine, and I am proud to be the cantor at Temple Beth El for the past three years. The next pieces that you will hear are arrangements of three Hanukkah songs, each one special in its own way. As you know, Hanukkah began at sundown this past Thursday and will last until sundown on Friday the 18th. Hanukkah means dedication. It reminds us of the rededication of the great temple in Jerusalem after a battle between the small band of Maccabeans and the large Syrian Greek army. One of the miracles of Hanukkah concerns the oil used in rituals during services of the great temple. When the Maccabeans reclaimed the temple, upon cleaning it, they discovered that there was only enough sacred oil to last for one night, but instead, it lasted eight nights, and thus was born the eight-night celebration of the Festival of Lights. The three songs you will hear tonight are Sevivon, Maos Tsur, and Dreidel. Sevivon and Dreidel represent a spinning top. Sevivon is Hebrew, and Dreidel is Yiddish, for a spinning top used as a game. There are four letters etched into the sides of the top, Nun, Gimel, He, and Shin. The letters create an anagram for Nes Gadol Hayah Sham, or a great miracle happened there, the miracle of the oil and the rededication of the temple. Maoz Tzor is Hebrew for stronghold of rock and is a reference to God. The text is thought to have been written in the 13th century during the Crusades and speaks to God's protection of the Jewish people throughout the centuries. One of the fascinating aspects of Jewish music of the time in the Italian Renaissance is the fact that just as Jewish composers such as Salomone de Rossi brought the music of the church to the synagogue, Christian composers such as Benedetto Giacometti Marcello brought the synagogue to the church. This composition of Marcello's is a transcription of that Maos Tzor, this Jewish piyut. The melody was known only among Italian Tedesco Jews and used down to modern times. We hope you enjoy and have a happy holiday season.
It's hard to imagine the holiday season without the Nutcracker, and your Tacoma City Ballet's Nutcracker is a tradition for many of you. This year, we were looking forward to showing you a few character dances from the Nutcracker with our players. However, new regulations made that impossible. Instead, we're happy to show you a look back of their Nutcracker recorded last year that will be airing on TV Tacoma later this month. Thank you to Miss Erin and Tacoma City Ballet for your incredible partnership with us, and I hope you enjoy.
Hello, my name is Reverend Robert L. Watson, Jr., and I'm the associate pastor at Bethlehem Baptist Church in Tacoma, Washington, Sweet Bethlehem. I am proud to be introducing the next piece on the program, the Hallelujah Chorus from Handel's Messiah. This piece is one of the most well-known choral works of all time, represents the joy of the coming of the Messiah. The text comes from the book of Revelations, chapter 19, verse 6. Then I heard what sounded like a great multitude, like the roar of rushing waters, and like the loud pedals of thunder shouting, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Our mighty Lord reigns. Beloved, I hope you enjoy. God bless. Thank you. 